So before this workshop, the condition of my heart and my high do things is um, I just go with emotions and just getting on with life. There's so much demands from life that you know I just need to take care of things and get it done um, that I didn't pay any attention to my heart. It's like a muscle that I do not have. I am in very tough situations. Um, there's a couple of conflicts that I'm, I'm facing and it all has to deal with relationships. And I'm just going through the motions. I was like, Jesus, what do you want me to do with this? And he showed me what to do. But the thing is, I, I know I'm doing it right. I know I trust I'm hearing God right. At the same time, I have this like internal struggle with my heart and this discomfort about um, this like there's still pain, there's still desires because like, I have this desire about I want to have intimate relationships. I want to have connection with the people that is in my life right now. But my circumstance has it shows me like we have agreements and you're not living up to them. Um, and we don't like you because you're not living up to our agreements. So even though I, in my head, I know I'm doing the right thing by what God is showing me to do, but in my heart, I'm just like feeling the pain of it all. So it's really counterintuitive to the desires of my heart. And a lot of the behaviors, the actions that we have, it comes from the desires, is motivated by desires more than our will. So this is like all insight that I'm receiving from the workshop. And while I'm do, going to do the coaching, the peer coaching practice today, that my partner helped me process um, the pain that I'm feeling right now. And I don't know, I did not know how to process that. At the same time, like Jesus like teaching me um, a new strategy, which you know I never known before. One of the beliefs that I have is that if I wasn't taught, I was I didn't experience it. I, like I never had an intimate relationship before, and I wasn't taught how to have an intimate relationship. Therefore, I am unable to have one. I, I keep feeling I don't have an intimate relationship with Jesus, but Jesus just came and just break all that. Um, false belief system and just drilling down to this belief and just ask Jesus um, how does he value me uh, it just brings on such relief like he just showed me how you know I am valuable and because I'm valuable that not have you know like not everyone have access to my heart it's like my heart was there's a lot going on in my heart these few days and yeah, I just love how when Jesus was telling me how much I am valued, my you know, tears are starting to warm up as I contemplate how much that he valued me and what being valued look like and how intimate relationship is not about me doing it right or, or knowing how to do it, but he is the one who's going to establish it. He's going to bring the right people to me and he's teaching me and that is the most valuable thing that is all on him, it's not on me, so the pressure's off.